Hello everyone, this is Oscar with the ADU guys. We're here in Rosemead. Here we have a garage conversion with an, an addition. Uh, here we have our kitchen window, uh, low E dual blaze, our exterior light with an outlet. And here we have our living room window. Uh, this is a one bedroom, one bath, ADU with washer dryer hookups. Uh, so it's a garage conversion with an extension. Here, the garage comes to here. Uh, so for an addition, we have to comply with our current setback. So here, we were able to do an addition, but as you can see, we had to come back uh, a couple feet uh, to get that distance that is required for the setback. And here we have an outlet. Over here, due to the elevation factor, uh, we created a landing and the homeowner decided to go with an exterior lighting door to have access to the back, which I'll show you from the front. And here in the corner, we have outlet for Christmas lights. And here we have our exterior light. So this right now, we're waiting on the inspector to see if he's gonna require handrail. Uh, because of the elevation so we're pretty close that we won't need it but it might make more sense to have it okay. and here we have our window for our bathroom and right now i'll show you guys the inside come on in with this vaulted ceiling it makes a huge difference it feels bigger you have standard height uh, eight foot walls on the edge kitchen area very functional, nice stainless steel sink, faucet, our window to view the outside, first countertop, white raised panels. This guys, I highly recommend it. A lot of homeowners tend to go with the nice vent, hood vent. Uh, the difference with that is that you're still gonna need a microwave. I mean, I, I can't do without a microwave. So if you do have a microwave, you're gonna utilize counter space. So this gives you the both options. You have the microwave and you have the vent that is required by code. Here, we have space in between the refrigerator. Uh, in some situations, some layouts that, um, where the space is not that big, uh, you have the fridge pretty much next to the stove or next to the sink. I like to have space on both sides of the sink, on both sides of the stove, okay? Here we have our staff washer and dryer. We have storage. This can be utilized as a coat closet. If you wanna make it a coat closet or it can be a, converted into a pantry. Here we have our bathroom. We have shower curtain, uh, we have our handheld shower head, and we have our window, and we have one niche this side. And here we have a toilet. This is all in a small space, guys. This is a standard bathroom. Uh, remember, this is a garage conversion with a small addition. So this part of it is part of the addition, and it makes a big difference. So doing a garage conversion and adding square footage to make it a one bedroom or a two bedroom makes a big difference. Uh, here we have a nice vanity, our mirror. We have plenty of storage here. Now let me show you guys a bedroom. This small but cozy bedroom. Our addition, so pretty much our garage ended here. So the little closet space, the bathroom, and the bedroom was part of the addition. And here we also continue with the vaulted ceiling for the bedroom. It makes a huge difference. Here we have our sliding door going to our landing to add us to the backyard. This unit is well fenced off. You could provide a nice area for your ADU tenant 
or if you choose to move into the ADU, you separate yourself from them. Okay guys, I hope you guys like it. This is Oscar with AD guys. We're here to help you any way we can. Uh, please follow us, share our videos. If you have any questions, uh, one more time, this is a garage conversion with a addition totaling 450 square feet. So this is 450 square foot small house, big benefit. Uh, take advantage of the AD laws. Keep in mind that uh, 2025, there's gonna be a lot of changes. Even though we're not at 2025 yet, we're already starting to see the changes. So please take advantage of the AE laws. If you need any help, if you already started your plans with someone else, uh, you want us to take a look at it, give us a call, send us an email, or reach us at 310-984-9398. Email theaduguys at gmail.com. Thank you, take care.